Hey everybody, I have a book review for you guys today, and today I am reviewing Jim Butcher's Grave Peril. It is the third book of the Dresden Files, and so far it's my favorite. Anyways, um, Grave Peril was about the undead, like I predicted, but I was thinking more along the lines of zombies, because I really wanted to see zombies. I don't know, I like zombies. Plus, I could see Harry Dresden battling that with zombies. I think that'd be pretty awesome. But it wasn't. It was about more like vampires and ghosts, and those are two other types of undead. So, in a way, I was correct about my prediction. And um, Harry Dresden, basically, if you guys don't know, is like a wizard for hire. You know, he works for the public. Sometimes the police um, pay him for his services, and he just gets paid to solve paranormal like investigations and. People hire him for a various amount of reasons because he's a wizard. Um, he doesn't do like the whole love potion and um, uh, entertain your kids on for a birthday party sort of a thing. But he is pretty desperate, so I don't know why he doesn't do that. But um, so basically, um, we are introduced to Harry Dresden and a new character, Michael, who works with Harry Dresden, and they are make the cutest little. Um, pair and I don't I, I shouldn't really say cute because they're two men but <laughs> it's cute because Harry Dresden isn't really a faithful guy and you're introduced to this new guy Michael who is like a holy warrior and he's like a modern pal paladin and if you don't know what that is a paladin is like someone who uses their faith and like it like he does miracles through his faith and Michael is like a paladin. He has his sword, which is imbued by, um, imbued with one of the, cr um, the nails that were in the cross. So, um, that's pretty awesome because how his faith, um, I guess you would call it magic, but you might not call it magic. It was more like faith, um, that gives him those abilities. And so it's pretty pretty awesome because Harry Dresden he uses like magic that's his faith is in magic and so it's really um cute because they're always conflicting because you know um God doesn't really believe in like the magic and dealing with demons but Harry Dresden does and so they're always kind of going at it but they're on the same team so awesome and um this book is definitely my favorite because of that because I like that little team up Plus, you also see a lot of your characters that you like get hurt in some way, whether it's mentally or physically, and I don't know, I feel like when the characters that you like are getting hurt, even though it's like sad, I think that's what makes a good book. It's because it creates that like emotional connection. I hate when the characters are always overpowered and never um, suffering at all, and I know that sounds kind of sick, but... Um, I think you guys know what I mean. <laughs> um, so they find out who was stirring up the spirit world and creating all this ghosts. That is why Michael was with Harry Dresden because all these ghosts were around and um, ghosts aren't holy and so Michael had to deal with that. Um, and then, um, it all just turns into this big fiasco and it gets solved and it's all super awesome and epic. I don't want to give too much away. But um, vampires and ghosts, you know, can't really go wrong there. So um, I love this book. I definitely give it a 10 out of 10 because it was so good. Um, it's kind of like my getaway from traditional fantasy. And it's kind of, I consider it my brain candy of books because they are um, definitely something that doesn't take a lot of thought to... Um, read and also they're kind of like episode by episode where you could pick up any book and kind of just start there. It doesn't really have to be in order. I mean I personally would read it in order but they're kind of like episodes in a TV show where you could start anywhere and kind of just pick it up. So if you guys are looking for like something that doesn't have complex storyline, something that gets away from traditional fantasy, something that you just pick up and read kind of quickly and enjoy, um, then Jim Butcher's The Dresden File are definitely it, and um, Great Peril is one of my favorites so far, and it's only the third book, and it's like my favorite. <laughs> so it's definitely what I'm recommending these days, and I really hope you guys enjoy this book review, and I know it's short, and I know I keep saying and, 
but I hope you guys enjoyed, like I said, and find in the description bar below ways to contact me uh, more about what I thought about the video, kind of just a summary of what I just said, and goodbye. <laughs>